All right, now I'm on P119 of the GoMath homework. So again, um, we're just plugging in the numbers, evaluate the expression for the given variables. So they tell us what R equals, we just plug it in, 20 minus R. And that is gonna be your answer. Okay, I'll let you do the math. I'm just gonna set a few of these up. I'm not gonna do all this work for you. Okay, let's, uh, let's jump down to six. Okay, wherever I see an X, I put a six. So here's an X, so I put a six plus X squared, I put a six squared. So now you're gonna do six times six to get six squared and then plus six. And that's gonna give you your final answer here. Okay, let's jump down to um, some of these that have two variables. So like number 10 m equals 7 and n equals 5. So where I see an m, I'm going to put a 7. Where I see an n, I'm going to put 5. So 7 and then a number with a letter right next to it means multiply. And m is 7 minus 9. And it's got a letter right next to it. And that letter n equals 5. So times 5. So I need to do my multiplication first. So get these two answers then subtract to get your final answer. Okay, I'll let you try that on 11. I'll jump over, I will do, I will set up 12 for you as well. So again, X is seven, Y is 10. So three, and it's got the X right next to it, so times seven, because instead of X, I put seven, plus four, and then it's gonna be times 10, divided by two, okay? So I do the addition part last because I have multiplication and division. So I'm gonna do multiplication. I'm gonna get this answer. I'm gonna get this answer. Once I get this answer, I'm gonna divide that by two to get this answer. And then I'm gonna take this plus this to give me my final answer, okay? All right, I set those ones up. I am going to erase though, because I'm going to need some extra space for these um, bottom two. Okay, formula P equals 2L plus 2W gives the perimeter P of a rectangle room with the length W and the, or excuse me, length L and the width W. A rectangle living room is 26 feet long and 21 feet wide. What is the perimeter of the room? So they gave us the formula, perimeter equals 2 times L, 26 feet long, so times 26, plus 2 times W, which W, 21 feet wide. So you're going to get this answer plus this answer, and that will give you your final answer. Okay, if you need to pause the video now, go ahead, because I'm going to erase, so I have room to do my next work. But of course, you can always re rewind. Okay, the formula C equals 5F minus 32 divided by 9 gives the Celsius temperature in C degrees for a Fahrenheit temperature of F degrees. What is the Celsius temperature for a Fahrenheit temperature of 122 degrees. Okay, so uh, this is the formula for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius, and we just plug it in though. C equals five, and then for F, F is Fahrenheit, and it told us the Fahrenheit temperature is 122. So 122 minus 32, and then divide by nine. So we have to order of operations says um, parentheses first, so I'm going to do that. And then the 5 is right next to the parentheses, so that means multiply, and then divide by 9. Now order of operations says multiplication and division are tied, so I start at the left and I work my way right. So you're going to get this answer, then take this answer, divide it by 9, and this will give you your final answer. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one.